it's the weekend of Saturday the 23rd coming up. So I uh, knocked down the old workbench. It served me well for three years, but I knew I needed it out of the way to get on with what I'm getting on. And rather than just chuck it, I, I tried to save as much of the wood as I can, which actually proved to be very useful later on. The, the big end bits were just so full of nails and bolts and stuff. They're just going to go to the tip. But the main cross beams actually turned out to be very useful to me. As is the countertop, which Jan said keep, I was going to get rid of, but we do use it later. Saturday morning, 8 o'clock, Norman's arrived. Uh, I know all the work I've done, he's like, ah, oh, it's really good. So that's good. Um, so we're going to get the doors done today. We'll get the uh, rest of the framing up and get the, get the door in and then get the roof in. And that'll be it sealed then. It's just playing about and tinkering after that. So I'd had more wood delivered from Selco. I'd gone for a couple of long beams and then the sort of the 2.4 meter ones. Norman came, he's so good at doing this framing and stuff. I, I think I've learned a lot of how to do it, but having him there helping me is great. Everything's square, everything's plumb. Any little problems I run into, he knows how to fix. So Norman just slogged away building the frame. Um, I started having a go at a separate little project that I was doing to do with the utility room. And moving stuff out of the way and keeping the workshop in good order. Um, you can see me here, I'm using those old legs that uh, I saved off the workbench and I cut those into three foot high lengths, build a square out of them, a cross beam, with the intent of mounting the worktop on top of it, moved all the stuff out from behind Norman which then turned into a useful space for him to get on with doing the framing. And the end result of it was this, you know, very solid, sturdy thing in the floor, bolted into the roof. Yeah, I continued to uh, be an apprentice for Norm. It is true that in working with him, I learn like a lot, and I'd probably pay good money to go to a, you know, to some sort of college and uh, learn how to do framing and this sort of stuff I've learned. Um, so it's been good. Uh, but again, the precision of doing, you know, the chiseling out of the hinges and then setting the hinges onto the onto the door. He had like a special jig thing that he was able to just pull out of his van. It, it mounts the exact right spot for all of the hinging and things. And it means the door goes on first time, hangs square. You know, there's no, I'd have, I'd have been able to do this. I'd have definitely put up a frame. I'd have definitely put a door in it. But it wouldn't have been as nice as what we ended up with. What slowed us down a lot, to be honest with the weather, we had all four seasons over the weekend, so we ended up working a lot in the garage. We could have been quicker if we'd have just been outside. Yeah. Having got the framing up, then putting up the sheathing, getting the insulation in, this is into an area where I'm actually quite comfortable doing this. No question, I mean, Norman there with his specialist tools is great because he's got like track saws that cut really straight edges and there's two of us to lift the boards. It's quite a lot to do it on your own, which I did do on the Sunday but it's the precision with which Norman does everything that makes this so much better. So that's the end of uh, Saturday. It's, uh, I could do a bit more, but I'm absolutely exhausted. Um, we didn't get as far as I wanted, I'll be honest, but the work was, was, you know, it was complex in the end, building this middle wall. Well, let me show you, all right, Norman has done such a good job. So we have a, a whole door here and it looks fantastic so I now have my room it just looks like a bomb site <laughs> so tomorrow the day will be sorting out a lot of this uh, 
sorting a lot of this out. But what I've got left to do now is the roof. So uh, finish off battening the roof and get the insulation up in there. The thing I did do when I knocked down that old workbench is I saved all the legs and stuff. And then basically had the worktop. And then, so I've basically built that in for Jan. Uh, I say for Jan, I come out here and do washing. But yeah, now it's got like that kind of utility room sort of worktop. I'll need to, I need to tidy it up where it's been my workbench. But um, yeah, that's the best I could do. I might strengthen that up a little bit with a few more bits of wood here and there. So it's, it's a little bit Heath Robinson, but uh, pretty good, pretty good. End of Sunday night, I uh, didn't do much today. I was a bit tired from yesterday, um, but also I did stuff this morning and then the, it was just beautiful weather. So me and Jan had dinner and then went out for a long, long walk. And we just got back and I'm not gonna start now. We're gonna get in the hot tub, but here's where we got to. Workshop is a total bomb site right now. Um, I put those shelves in temporarily, piled loads of stuff on it. Um, but I'm sealed all the way around. I've got walls all the way around there. A little bit to finish off up there, which I'll do during the week. Then I'm gonna get on with just insulating the roof, which I've been saying I'm gonna do for weeks. Biggest changes out here for sure. So, you know, the utility area now makes much more sense. The tumble dryer under there, pressure washer can fit underneath, the fridge freezer, and yeah, lots of shelving. So this is gonna be important when we get our kitchen done, that we uh, have the space to just uh, bring stuff out of the kitchen and pile it in here. Yeah, so I cut this piece out. We'll still get to the controls, still get to the fuse box. Now we can lift things out of the tumble dryer and straight up onto the top there, which makes the space much more usable. Loads of shelving. So we'll be able to get on with stuff. So all in all, pretty successful weekend um you know i'll be able to finish this off now in almost you know just tinkering away at it uh and we're gonna get the quotes for the uh kitchen next week and we'll get on with that so another big project